Do you have orders to Quantico and wondering what in the world Q-Town is and why it's so famous? Or why there's an Amtrak stop that stops in the middle of a Marine Corps base? I'm Ginger Walker, the team lead of Give Back team of Coldwell Banker Elite. And welcome to another episode of Give Work Play, where we talk about everything living in Northern Virginia. In this video, we're talking about the largest U.S. Marine Corps base, Marine Corps Base Quantico. Not only is it the base home to the Marines, it's also the site for other agencies, including the FBI Academy, the DEA, and NCIS. Let me see if I can say this. It's the Naval Criminal Investigative Service. Woo! I got it. We're gonna touch base on some of the history of Quantico, some fun facts, we'll talk about housing, and I'll even give you a pro tip that I wanna share with you at the end of this video. The area now known as Quantico, which means by the long stream, was first inhabited by the Dogue tribe. Downtown Quantico, or as the locals call it, Q-Town, is famous for being the only town within a military installation. A question I often get asked is, am I allowed to go to Q-Town? And the answer is yes. The only thing that you're gonna need to do is go through the base security and present a real ID or a DOD ID to get through the gate. And if you're not in the military, you will have to let them know what you're doing on base and where you're going. So here's a fun fact. Many presidents have actually traveled the streets of Quantico, from Teddy Roosevelt, who cracked jokes in front of an old hardware store, to Franklin D. Roosevelt, who traveled in his touring car, followed by a motorcade, and even Harry Truman, who traveled from the Marine Corps headquarters through Quantico to ride upon the waters of the Potomac. Many who know of Quantico have heard of Lake Lunga, while Lake Lunga unfortunately hasn't been accessible for quite some time, there is a marina located on base just past the town of Quantico, which has over 150 slips, offering daytime, overnight, or long-term berthing for boats up to 50 feet in length, most with electric and water hookups. They also offer boat rentals, sailing lessons, kayaks, canoes, and paddleboard rentals. Pretty cool, right? There are two sides to Marine Corps Base Quantico, with over 28,000 military, contractors, and civilians who work on base. The main side, which is where the Iwo Jima statue is located, is home to downtown Quantico, Quantico Station, the MCX, the commissary, the gym, the community events, and where the base housing is located. It's also very close to the Marine Corps Museum, which is just outside of the Marine Corps base. And here's one fun fact about Mainside Quantico. It houses the Marine Corps Air Facility and HMX-1. The other part of Quantico, which is located on the west side of 95, is home to the DEA, the FBI Academy for New Agents, the FBI Lab, and the Hostage Rescue Team, as well as the basic school for the Marine Corps, along with so much more. So now let's talk about some of the commuting options whether you live on or off base. The VRE happens to be located in Q-Town called Quantico Station, and it makes for easy access if you're commuting north. It happens to be the fifth stop on the Fredericksburg line after the Spotsylvania, Fredericksburg, Leland Station, and then Brook Road stops. So even people who are not living on base can actually use this as an option to commute north. Speaking of trains, Choo-choo! If you happen to be heading to either Dulles or Reagan, you can pick up the Amtrak or the VRE to either one of the airports. And here's a bonus, you can park for free at the Quantico station. Now let's talk about where you might live. Living off base happens to be one of the most popular options. However, if you're looking for base housing, Liberty Military Housing offers 1,137 homes within seven communities on base. It also offers on base movie theater, bowling alley, playgrounds, a golf course, pools, paintball, and so much more. Here's another fun fact for you. Marine Corps Base Quantico covers over 55,000 acres and it covers three counties. It's in Prince William, Stafford, and Fauquier counties. I know, it's huge. Just outside the Marine Corps base is the National Museum of the Marine Corps, which I may have mentioned a little bit earlier in this video. And the cool thing about this museum is it's very interactive. You can experience the intensity of boot camp, test your rifle firing skills, and bravely land on Iwo Jima. It's just a really cool place to experience. So it's a must visit when you're here. So here's a fun fact too, if you happen to live around the Quantico base. If you look up above, you may see Osprey flying over your head. And the cool thing is that Quantico has 43 live fire ranges, ranging from small arms all the way up to explosive demolitions. So if you feel that shake, rattle, and boom, that might be why. And if you're interested in finding out when these things are actually happening, they do post so you have information as to know when to expect. Maybe that shake, rattle, and boom. And I didn't forget the insider tip that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Quantico has what's called the Loan Locker Program. This program allows service members 
family members and the DOD civilians to borrow basic household items for a period of up to 30 days while they await the arrival of their household goods. This service is absolutely free and it's available both to inbound and outbound personnel that are assigned to Marine Corps Base Quantico and the surrounding military installations. I'm Ginger Walker, the team lead of Give Back team of Coldwell Banker Elite. If you found this video helpful, make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit that bell so anytime we put out another video about the Northern Virginia market, you're the first to know. Thanks so much for watching.